Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into my Deb's Thing channel. I did this design a while ago, so I'm finally getting around to doing a tutorial for it. I really think it's cute. Um, this is the side I think is the best for the um, front side, and this is the other side. Um, you know, on this side the um, borders are more prominent and the center is recessed, where this one this part is prominent and back here is recessed. Okay. It is a four bar setup at an angle like this. I'm not sure if the angle is absolutely necessary, but that's how I'm going to instruct you. Okay. Four color A, which is the dark blue that zigzags here. I'm using the silicone um, purple, which is, it's not a maroon, what is that color, it's kind of like a deep fuchsia, anyhow, using that, and this is the lighter green in the galaxy, spiral galaxy mix, I'm using that up to center, where the, that pink, uh, yellow and pink dual color, 600 count band is, then you can't really see color C. I mean, you can see it, but it's kind of hard because it kind of blends in with these colors, but it's the um, jelly rose color. Let's see if you can see. No, I used, I used really subdued colors in these, but anyways, I'm going to try to use a more popping color, and I'm going to use the jelly red. And finally, where I use the ocean blue here, that's color D, I'm using one of my very favorite bands, the um, bronze, bronze LE band. Okay, let's get going. You are going to start by, I'm just thinking if I want to double this up or not. I probably will because they're not, they're thick but not thick. This is going to be the closing band. Am I doing this right? Yes, okay. Then we're going to go like this and zigzag all the way up, okay? So you will zigzag all the way to the end of the loom. So that's all I'll show you for that. So you do that and then you're going to also do it I haven't done a practice um, one, I, so I'm going by memory and my instructions. Okay, I think this is right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope, or maybe I'm going to make another accidental sign like I did for my um, Conqueror design. <laughs> so, do both these rows of zigzags probably all the way to the end. I'm not quite sure how it's going to finish off, but you know, we can just take off bands when we get there. All right. Well, that took quite a few bands, didn't it? All right. This is what it looks like. This is how I, I just stopped it where well, these aren't exactly parallel because it's all diagonal. It's, they're all diagonal diagonal, but since I only could go up to here, I went here for now, and um, we'll work that out when we get to that point. The next thing you're going to do is take the color B, which is um, the color that goes up the middle, and for me I'm using this lighter blue, and you're going to start here and zigzag. all the way up till whatever makes sense. <laughs> whatever band, pin makes sense, just keep a ex couple extras around. OK, 
case we need a couple more. It takes me, I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of a little bit of effort to, whoops, to put dual layer bands on, keep them from getting twisted. But as I said, even the opaque bands, you know, with the way photography is and every little fuzz and hair on our designs that even a twisted opaque band is pretty obvious but not as obvious as a dual layer band so I'm thinking I'm just going to stay on camera and get this done but I think it's going to take me longer than I thought uh, I'm thinking it will And that's the wonder of digital. You can very quickly and easily fast forward and see where you're fast forwarding to. So, too much stress. <laughs> We're going to be putting a um, single row of bands up each one of these columns, so I'm pushing them down to make room for those, for those bands, and of course we need room for when we're looming them all back. Most of you are probably already done. But just bear with me. I'm probably old enough to be most of your grandma, your grandmothers, your grandmother, at least your mom. I know I'm so young. I was like, I was the young one. My husband and I were like the same age. He's 26 days younger. <sighs> we're both born in the summer of 1960, but all of a sudden we're, we're starting to be considered the older people. In fact, some, some young, some guy down, just moved in down the street. He was, we were, I was talking to him. He goes, maybe, you know, he answered to one of my questions, he goes, maybe it's that little old lady that lives across the street from you? And I thought, a little old lady that lives across the street? And I go, oh my gosh, I know who he's talking about. Like, she's like maybe five years older than me. I mean, she's all, you know, she lets her hair all gray and she's definitely lived a harder life than I have. But to call somebody pretty much in my age group the little, little... The little old lady who lives across the street from you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I almost fell over. But, you know, he's probably 25 or something, so yeah. Somebody 60 or so is a little old lady. Alright, so we got that done. So now I'll give you the instructions for the next bands. And then I'll go sit down off camera and place them all. So the C colored bands, which you don't see very much of, I said, I don't know, can you see the, well you can, can you see the pinks there? So they, there's a little pop of color, so I'm going to use red. On this design, I decide, what are the four colors <laughs> that don't go together in the slightest? What colors can I use for this design? I was thinking of doing maybe a rainbowy thing, but I don't know. My brain's being lazy, so I'm doing taking the simple way out. Okay. Now, even though I don't think these have a lot of stretch, as always with the LE bands, you know, give it a little tug as you place it to make sure it doesn't snap on you. And so you're going to be going up here. 
and up here. And when I get back, I will tell you how to finish off the top of the loom because I'm not quite sure how it works because all it looks like you see is, is that. Yeah, it doesn't give me much advice. Okay, we're almost done placing bands, but before I get going, do you guys ever have like the, the fantasy that, wow, this color combo is gonna be so amazing. Rainbow Loom's gonna do a press release, and then I'm gonna turn on CNN News, and there's gonna be a news flash that that little old lady who lives in Southern California came up with this awesome, awesome color scheme. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> oh, we can only dream. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to probably do a little bit of backtracking here. I have a couple more of these purpley kind of bands. What are they called? Neon purple. So I have enough. Okay. So um, I think we're gonna have to use these bands. So I'm gonna take these off and this one off. Okay. So that we can put other bands on. So let's go and grab this band. And then I'm going to do this one. Okay, so we're going to add two more of those. You're going to add one more of your color B. Those were color A. This is color B. And we can put this back. This back, put this back, add one more here, one more here. Okay, and definitely rewind that if that was too fast for you so you can see it again, but it was, it's pretty basic. So now we're going to place our cap across those two pins. So I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to use two of these. I am just keep wondering how these overly stretchy, not overly, but overly compared to the rest of these bands, especially these less stretchy bands, um, is going to work. So I doubled that up so I have a nice thick... Um, now connector, connector bands. Okay, and now let's look at the instructions. Alternate B and C up center. Then loop A and D up sides, looping D straight up, then do the two angled A bands that want more D, etc., etc. Okay. Okay. Um, First of all, <laughs> I must have made a mistake because I'm supposed to lean A1 up first. And A1 is under here. So, all right, please be patient. I'm going to go off camera and think this over and maybe we'll have to do a little unwinding here. I should have practiced first. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I figured it out. We will see. We will either make this design or something totally different. <laughs> for you, for those of you who have seen my Conqueror uh, tutorial, you'll understand. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is bring up the C-colored band and be straight up. And then take this B colored band and bring it here, I hope. <laughs> oh, okay, and then 
The instructions say bring this band, then this band, and this band. So, I think the sequence <laughs> is then going to be this, this, and this. So it's pretty basic. You're just going to continue up and, you know, whichever needs to be done next needs to be done next. So now that I've done this one, we are going to do this one straight up. So now this one has to be brought over here. And now we're going to take the two bands from this pin. And everything looks like, at least up the center, everything's going to its own pin. Okay, so now that we're back over on this pin, we've got two bands to take off. Oops, I'll just grab the one on top. This one first, and then this one. And then take the two bands off of this pin. And I'm, when I'm talking the these two bands, I'm talking about the colors B and C. This is where I like to go off camera to straighten these out. So they're not so twisted. Okay, so one more time. Now that we're, we've loom loomed to this pin, we're going to reach here. Grab this one straight up. And this one at the diagonal. And now that we're at this pin, we're going straight up and then doing the diagonal. Okay. I think I've got enough footage for you guys to go back and review it if you need to. But I'm going to do that all the, all the way up these two pins, or these two columns of pins. So I've got my middle section all finished and you'll do it all the way to the last pins. Now it appears <laughs> that you will be taking this band out, looming one D band straight up and doing these two A bands in the zigzag pattern. Doing one D band straight up, then two zigzags. Okay, then we do it on this side. Do this band first because it's kind of like, you know, sets it all up. So, ah! Grab it. <laughs> Put it back. Okay. So then on this side, same thing, straight up. And then do one, two, and then do this one band straight up and then one two the A bands and then one D band Then the two A's. Oh, 
I sure hope these silicone bands, silicon, silicone aren't. Might have to sit overnight to get like back in, you know, their elasticity snug back in, but we'll we will see. I'm talking softly because hubby's in the bathtub and he's relaxing, so I hope you all can hear me. Okay, I'll do one more or a couple more on this side to show you. So you do this top one right here straight up. And then do these this zig and this zag. Do one straight up. And you reach all the way down. Grab the zig. Reach all the way down and do the zag. Okay? Let's do that over and over again. And then we'll be done. Alright, got in this focus. I have got it mostly off the loom. This is what I consider the underside, and this the top um, side. I mean, they're very close to the same. This is just more prominent and it's more recessed in here so if you did all the complete you know one up then then the two the zig and the zag as far as you could you will have this band and this band left to loom and then grab a clip big clip not a little clip background noise, sorry. And a doggy, a cider. And I'm going to grab the two bands here. And where are they? Uh -oh. Alright, there they are. There you have it. Now, holy cow. Well, I guess it's not bad. It's just be loose. But um, I might have made these not a you know full double you know full wrap length. But because this one, let me pull back a little bit. This one is so much longer. So this one I totally know is a full double wrap you know, full wrap rather, and you know, two lengths of loom, and it'll be pl plenty big for anybody's, and whatever, you know, band you use, I think it'll be okay, cause I think the zigzag just cause the design to be um, longer. So I've got a few bands to do, you know, fix up, but there you have it, unnamed design again. When I get into a mood of, or you know, feeling well enough to do tutorials, it's like I'm just gonna jump on it now. I'm not gonna wait till I have a name that I can come later. And my energy level is a little lower. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Deb's thing if you so desire, and check me out on Instagram. And I'd love if you followed me at Deb's thing. Thank you so much.